Well, hello there, YouTube. This is a review of the newest high-tech watch. <laughs> no, this is actually just a, a cheapo little watch that a uh, little Chinese thing that I've had for a uh, for a bit, and what got me started in this whole smartwatch thing. I got it really cheap off of um, BangGood.com. It's a, a CHRU watch. It's the U10. It actually does work, and it uh it syncs with uh with iPhones and, and Androids. Very limited with the uh, with iOS, but it does actually work. Um, worked good enough that it got me involved with this thing. Comes with real leather band, and shockingly, like I say, the damn thing works. So anyway, um, as you guys seen, I did a uh, review on the on the Gear S by Samsung and um I love this watch and uh you know there's a gear 2 also the one with the camera and everything heart rate monitor and whatnot on the back there I don't know how well this thing focuses up close but anyway I went over this along with the gear 2 um the only only drawback to uh to the uh Samsung gear is you have you have to be paired with a uh, with a Samsung watch or a phone for it to work, uh, it will not work with any other um, cell phone, Android phone. It's uh, it's running uh, Samsung's Tizen. Oh, I'm flipping through. Sorry about that. It uses uh, Samsung's Tizen operating system, which is something of their own. Kind of hard to uh, not get the. <laughs> Might get the roof lights in this thing without curved display. Sorry about that. Should I just turn that light out? No way avoiding it. But um, anyway, fantastic watch. Love this thing to death. It's uh, it's a standalone. You can you can walk away from your your phone, and uh, it'll pick up Wi-Fi if it's available, independent of the phone, and it'll uh. If the Wi-Fi disappears, it will then uh, it'll go straight to uh, to the cellular network, which is uh, the SIM card is nestled inside there. Unless you're uh, CDMA and it's uh, there's no SIM card. But anyway, love this thing. So been watching, you know, a lot of reviews. They go crazy about the uh, the LG. The LG G R watch. So I decided to give one a try. And uh, this one's running um, Android Wear operating system. It, uh, as you can see, you get notifications and whatnot on it also. <laughs> Sorry about that, Triple X. <laughs> Well, at least it didn't have your real name on there. But anyway, uh, it's an Android Wear watch. It gets a lot of very high reviews. Uh, a lot of people uh, love this thing to death. It also has a genuine leather, although um, I'm assuming it would soften up over time. But the leather is very thick and very stiff. But uh, very genuine. There's no doubt about that. It even says genuine leather, if that'll pick up which I have no idea. Also has a heart rate monitor which ties in with Google's uh, Fit um, app or suite of health apps. Um, beautiful screen. Very clear. Very, very sharp. Beautiful. Um, it there's no, there's no cell phone obviously. There's not even a speaker on this thing. It only has a microphone if that shows up, that little tiny hole right there, you'll notice it's still got the protective, if you can notice the little outlay of the protective covers on it. Um, I'm actually not going to keep this. I'm going to return it. Um, but anyway, uh, for if you're into Android Wear, um, it does a very good job. Um, this is a, a $300 watch. This is also a $300 watch. Well, $329 if you're um, with AT&T or, or any GSM 
um, network. The uh, the one with CDMA, the one without the SIM card, is more expensive. But uh, anyway, I, this this is to me well worth the three hundred bucks or three thirty whatever. Three hundred dollars for this thing. I mean, basically all it does is uh, give you notifications, letting you know that you know you've received an email. Uh, um, I don't even see it doesn't even tie in it doesn't even tell me when I've received a text this receives all of that um, I can receive make and make phone calls from this I can even call forward on my iPhone and it and it rings to well, of course it goes to my Samsung and then bounces off into this if I'm away from the phone the the uh, note 4 uh, the call forwarding will not make it to the watch because it, uh, for some reason, and I thought it was supposed to work, but I, I lose that connection. But it's got its own cell phone number, you know, so I mean, I can take and make calls. But Android Wear, I mean, wow, I, it, it um, it hasn't made it very far. <laughs> it's, uh, it's still like very, wow, like, in its infancy I, I I really have a hard time understanding how it's getting such a, a high rating I mean it, it's I mean it does as advertised it lets you know when you get notices you uh, you can download apps although they're uh, they're quite limited um, there are some cool stuff you know like this uh, insta weather which uh, probably not gonna pick anything up out here because the antennas are are pretty weak on the on this note I've got one little tiny bar of some kind of cell phone and one little bar of of Wi-Fi there so it's it's probably never gonna pick anything up even though it shows I have something this just this just won't pick up my iPhone I have uh, like two bars of LTE and and like a couple bars of, of Wi-Fi from the house out here it's their antennas are hugely hugely better anyway I can't show you that but uh, you, you like I say you can download apps to it this is a an app uh, <laughs> Swipeify which uh, the Android Wear does not have a launcher like this in a sense it does but let me show you how you do it you tap it and you're supposed to speak into it now but if I say something to it, it's not going to pick it up because there's no uh, cell network but here's a, a list of a menu items yeah, click something there but to get to your apps you gotta hit start and then they're arranged in an order like this so these app launchers allow you to quick access into a uh, into this instead of going through these steps and you can it, it's basically the Android Wear seems to be more tied into Google now than anything else and in so it relies heavily on voice prompts and uh, any of you guys that use Google Voice know it it works very well it's uh, in fact a lot of people say it's better than Siri because of the fact that uh, when it does a web search it uses Google instead of Bing if uh, if Siri didn't use Bing, it would uh, it'd be on the top of the heap. But it does just as well. I mean, it recognizes everything you say very clearly, just like Siri does. And, um, I mean, it has no problem going to where you tell it to go. And I can tell it to uh, uh, launch an app. It, you know, you use the OK Google command. And when it's in this, you see this dimmed state, um, it, the OK Google doesn't work and you'll notice if you look at the top of the screen as soon as I wake it up you'll see the OK Google let's see it opens right now let's go back to it here open calendar there is a calendar app in here whether it recognizes it as calendar oh that screen's kind of blown out you guys can't really see it can you 
Yeah, it's not going to open it. But there is a calendar. Oh, you know what? I don't think that it... Open calculator. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, beautiful watch. It's made of metal. The, the back is plastic, of course. Um, beautiful metal uh, bezel. Uh, like I say, it, it looks plastic, but that's just some plastic covers on there. And uh, this is like a power on button. If you push and hold it, it'll take you into the directly to the settings menu, and you have the thing of restart, power off, whatever you want to do. Um, and the screen, like I say, the screen is amazing. It's it's small compared to the, you know, the I've got the uh, what you call it, the uh, brightness turned way down on this thing, but uh, it's small in comparison. Turn her up just a notch here. That's kind of a dark watch there, anyway. But uh, you know, this with the two-inch display, this is a one point three, I think it is. I think this one's one and a half across by two, something like that. Um, I don't pay that much attention to all the specs. Anyway, I, um, I I didn't come here to hound on Google Wear. I just wanted to uh, to do a quick little little review between uh, you know kind of a dumbed down smartwatch um, that's not a very smart watch uh, you get notifications you can send you can send text you gotta send it by voice but there's um, uh, Google Voice doesn't allow for or at least you know through uh, send, sending a message or or whatever it doesn't allow you you know I lied to you I said you can't can't send a text. You can send a text through the thing. You can send a message, and I think it goes goes through as a text. I haven't played with that enough to, to mess with it. But anyway, uh, it doesn't allow for any kind of punctuation, and it seems to soon as soon as it recognizes you've uh, um, you're done talking, it just sends it. Doesn't seem to have uh, like a delay <laughs> to let you decide whether you want to send it or not. Uh, maybe I was doing something wrong. I don't know, but anyway, with this, I mean, I can, I can literally, I can send messages. I can compose a message on the thing, and uh, and type it in. I've got difference between the different. Uh, oh, it's wanting a phone number. Let's see, kick down here, and then you got a keypad, and you can use swipe, or you know, if you need numbers or anything in there. Uh, Little, all the emojis, every everything you need is in here. And shockingly enough, that little keyboard. Wow, that camera's just not. It's just too bright for you to pick up. Right, you seen it there for a second, but um, like I say, I mean, you can send texts, you can send emails, you can reply to emails, and uh, the keyboard has um, the swipe function. You know, like Swift keys. Um, I'm I'm not real good at that, but what from what I played with it it works well but those little tiny letters shockingly even if you're off the spell checker in it somehow another knows what you meant to say <laughs> I don't know how it works but really good and you can put signatures and emails and whatnot just this is a very very smart smart watch this one is basically a notification center you know, you can do more with it, but it's very, very limited. Everything is done by, by voice, which you can do the same thing on this one too. Um, but yeah, I uh, for three hundred bucks, I was expecting way, way more. I sh maybe I should have watched more reviews, but you know, I'm hearing all the stuff about Google Wear and <clears throat> the future of it and whatnot. And you know, being Google's Google's deal, you know, you think they'd be all over making this thing like very intelligent. Um, I mean, it works as you know, like a basic smartwatch. Um, there's a few apps. I, I I think there's consider. I haven't counted or looked to see if there is any kind of count, but there appears to be way more apps for uh, 
the Tizen thing through uh, Tizen OS through Samsung than what there appears to be through Google Wear on this. I'm sure, you know, being the might of Google, that will change. Anyway, uh, with Christmas coming up, if you guys are looking at getting someone a smart watch and uh, you really want to wow them um, and they're, they, they're in the Samsung phones, uh, my suggestion would be one of the gear or you know that like the gear 2 or gear s and there's also the gear 2 neo I, that I should I don't have that with me uh, the gear 2 neo is the same specs as the gear 2 it just doesn't have the the camera and it's uh, all plastic instead of you know having the metal and stuff on it like the gear 2 does um, that's a really nice uh, smartwatch also um, these are very basic. That's a lot of money to spend for such a basic smartwatch that, uh, in my opinion, is, is not very smart at all. Um, not enough that I, there's no way I could keep this thing. No way. I mean, not for 300 bucks. There's no, no discount on her. She's 300 bucks because they're rare and hard to find. I don't think I was going to talk about the software. It's just, this uses Samsung's um, gear and this one uses uh, Android Wear app they kind of work similar similar um, again you can do way more with the uh, gear app than you can the uh, than the Samsung Wear come on now <laughs> only in Android world but anyway gear way more settings and stuff you can do within the within the app I mean just it's endless what you can do with this thing the uh, Android Wear is very very basic there's some things where like taking a note it gives you an, an option of using Keep or Evernote I mean it's pretty pretty basic most of the stuff you have one option just what's on the phone there's no options and then there's similar to gear there's a link to uh, the app site and uh, settings very very basic I mean it's very detailed the settings you can do with the Samsung gear this thing's uh, very very basic um, if that's uh, you know if you're into that into that deal of a uh, didn't I just shut that down amazing but uh if you're into very basic stuff, this this will do do the job. But uh, 300 bucks for a smartwatch that's that basic, that's a hard nut to swallow. Um, so you decide. That's my take. What the difference between the, the LG GR and the Samsung Gear S between Google uh, or Android Wear and uh, and Tizen OS's um, they're uh, literally in two different worlds um, so you know my suggestion would be go somewhere and play with them for a while see what you think uh, the one like I say the one glitch with this is you have to have a Samsung phone for this to work there's no option and there's not all of them will work and I think it has to be 4.4.4 uh, KitKat with this one, you have to be 4.4.3 at least to run this, but it can be any um, Android tablet or phone. So that's one of the glitches. Somebody, that's a Samsung not allowing this to work on other um, Android phones and tablets and stuff is, uh, I think, a huge, huge mistake. But uh, maybe that's what they're tied. They can't come to an agreement between Tizen and Android I might you know I don't know all the logistics behind all that but somebody needs to make a smartwatch that's universal similar to this where it can work on iOS or Android though you can work with iOS on this it's uh, pretty much nothing more than a uh, syncing contacts and uh, calendars it's 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 pretty limited I mean Technically speaking, it does connect to it, but that's about it. Um, with the app, this one has its own app too that 
but it's it's pretty basic like this although this has a whole bunch of built-in apps already in there and uh, uh you know for you know, the guys you know that pay attention to the samsung they're, they're big in the s um s health the fitness stuff there's a lot of fitness stuff in here also not quite a, as detailed but you know like i say it's got the heart rate monitor and everything on it similar to it and it's a pedometer um one of the other things there's no built-in gps there's no built-in wi-fi obviously no no cell network in it which this one has all of um anyway there we are i rattled on forever but um try them out try them before you buy them if you're interested in a smartwatch or you can go look at these chinese sites and you can buy these cheap charlie things for next to nothing they even uh make a uh, a samsung gear uh replica it looks just like it and uh it runs off of some some version of of android it's actually android on it um it, it's not listed as android wear it's uh it's even some of them even have kit kat on them so <laughs> it's pretty wild and it looks like you know android apps as they're flipping through the phone it's pretty wild you know and they're under a hundred bucks but you know you can it's all plastic you know it's kind of cheesy but it works i mean it actually does work but uh i don't know what the operating system in, is on this thing i haven't dug maybe it's a version of android stuffed in there i have no idea it looks like it but uh anyway these little suckers are addictive so be forewarned once you buy one you're hooked so uh thanks for watching Somebody's out there shooting. I don't know if you guys are, hear that. The Russians are coming. No, I'm just kidding. Somebody's out doing some serious target practicing out there somewhere. Sounds awfully close though, doesn't it? I don't have really close neighbors. But uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. And uh, if we don't speak in some form or another, um, hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Take care now. Bye-bye.